Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Welcome to my studio. Come on in and let's hang out for an hour or so and do some creating. I'm gonna get everything going down here on my laptop so I can see your comments. If you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay or say hello just so I know you were here. Uh, I like to, I like to know who's ever, who's stopping by and who might be new so we can welcome you hey betty and cindy both here hey hey um oh let me do got a, I'm, out of, I'm out of practice here hey vicky how are you doing today and there's rose and jerry y'all come on in hi kathy hey Lori and janice i'm good I'm tired. It's been a busy day. We'll talk about that. Hey, Christine and Betty from Orlando. Hey, hi, Jill and Carol. Two Carols in a row. Carol Edison and Carol Stinson. Hi, Trudy. Hey, Debbie. Oh, thank you. I was just pinning this. I don't think I've worn this one live yet. This is a, a new bell. Fairly, it was in my last order from Bell Lily, a big old butterfly. Hey, Wanda and Diane, Ann, Deborah and Jackie. Hey, Carol. Hi, Lynn. How are you? You got me live. I, you're not even on replay. Hey, Darlene and Lindy Milligan from Pickwick. Hey, Darlene and Barb. Hey, Trish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is a giant butterfly on my shirt, and I've pinned a link to it and a discount code in the comments for y'all. Hey, Joe. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, Frida. Y'all are so good to us. Hey, Bridget and Maxine. Uh, the pearls look beautiful with a shank. Thank you. I, it's got a little, the, the little butterfly on it, too, so I decided to wear my pearls. Thank you so much, Debbie. Well, Lori, that's so sweet. There's Stephanie. I remembered. I'm live and I remembered it. Stephanie from Windy City Crafts. Do y'all uh, y'all need do y'all follow her? I'm sure. Who doesn't follow Windy City Crafts? Cutie cutie stuff. She does all the time. And I girl, I don't know how you do all that you do. I swear. Hey Deborah. You're so sweet, Vicky. Thank you. Oh. Hey Arlene. Hey Benita. Yeah, I've decided, you know, I told y'all since um, Mr. Tater Buggin gave me um, pearls. These were for my, our 30th anniversary. And then I got um, just just a set of pearls with a pearl breakless <laughs> bracelet <laughs> and stud earrings for this past anniversary last month. And, uh, hey, Jerry, thank you. Hi, Cecilia and Myrtle. Tote bag is in Memphis. Hope it starts moving. Has it not moved yet? So why did they do that? Um, and so anyway, I decided instead of being scared to wear them, I'm just going to wear them. You can't take them with you. You know, I might as well enjoy them while I'm here, right? So, uh, hey, Patty. Thank you, Trish. I appreciate it. I'm going to tell I'm going to tell off on myself about your bracelet today. <laughs> she got a good laugh out of me yesterday. And I promised I'd wait and tell y'all live today because, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you know, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, well, I, you should see my house. If I were June Cleaver, I'd be in there vacuuming in these pearls instead of, you know, having a dirty house right now. It's a mess. Hey, Mary, Gwen. Yes, I'm so glad you got me live. Judy Zeppa, thank you for those stars. Hey, Cheryl, if y'all are watching on replay or you're watching on YouTube, you can fast forward, but I love to visit with my friends and welcome it. I have no words today. Welcome them into the studio. I mentioned the keychains. Tuesday, I believe it was. And I think it was Jody who wanted me to do it. Jody Santana, are you here? Barb, you're, so, you're so sweet. Hey, Gail. Oh, thank you, Janet. I'll admit, I had to kind of fluff up um, Mr. Taterbuggin and I 
uh, both had a movie job to do this morning. We have a little side gig every now and then, and it's too sweet to give up. And um, so we had that this morning. And then we went and put the art up at Brother Juniper's. And I was going to be really smart and take a video for y'all and like time lapse so you could see how we hang everything up and, you know, arrange it and everything. I worked hard to get it all set up on their little coffee bar right across from from my paintings and then I was so proud of myself I went back and I got it it didn't record so y'all got pictures instead I'm sorry <laughs> so we're gonna use I found these at Michael's just a while back in the hey Laurie uh, Barb it's just it's raining here it's raining right now but it's just a nice steady rain I'm so glad my plants needed it uh, I found these. Thank you, Vicky, for the stars. I'm excited, Leanne. I've got to, yeah, I've got to talk to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, they're in those little dollar bins, and you have to check the price, but these are actually 99 cents for four of them, so you get, you know, they're a quarter each. You can't beat that. So I thought, well, I'm going to give them a try and see what I can do with them, and then I, I posted them. I have them in my booth. I may have some in my um, next auction. These may be in my next auction. We don't know. So, let me pull them out and show you. So, these, these are, are um, this is one set. And then they also, now you know how those dollar bins are. Y'all have to tell me if you can find these. Um, I just thought they would uh, oh, Vicki, welcome. We are just outside of Memphis in um, Bartlett, Tennessee. Hey, Cindy. Oh, Cindy Cindy Hill. And then Cindy Kane said she needs rain so badly. Yeah, she's out there in Phoenix. Um, yeah, so that's where we are, Vicki, just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, Barbara. They have this shape, and I also found circles. I went ahead and did, I painted. Is Dolly here? She'll be happy to, to know I painted ahead of time. Oh, do you? Wait, was that Leanne that said that? Oh, good. They had a butterfly. I never saw a butterfly. I'd have grabbed those up too. So I went ahead on these and uh, took the little rings off and painted each side just with one coat of white chalk paint. These are... Um, these are light colored enough that you might not have to, but we may, we're, we're going to play around a little bit. We'll see. Um, cause on, so on, uh, one set, I painted them, uh, ballet slipper pink and put a napkin over it. It gives it a whole different, it gives it a look like this. I used a, a pale, it was like a pale, pale pink background on this but I mean really pale on the napkin so this has just got ballet slipper pink underneath it and it really made it pop so I did some of those they're wood they're very thin little wood pieces but you know once you work them up and uh who said that thank you Melissa thank you I've got you a link and a discount code pinned in the comments so I thought when I got these, how great would these be for all of your little leftover pieces of napkin and rice paper that you didn't use in a project, right? Oh, no, Debbie. Hey, Nancy. Oh, Donna, that's a cute idea. Paint one with the, my little ugly doll on it. I may have to do that. I may have to do that. I've got a few little things sitting out. We are going to paint one for sure. And if we have time, I may go ahead and paint an ugly doll. When I get to the painting, you know, detail part, I'll turn y'all over, flip you over so you can see it more closely. Hey, Nelda and Ellen. Um, yeah, y'all let your, let your friends know if you think they might enjoy this. Uh, let your friends know that we're on today. So I have, I have some of this. This is um, digital deco design rice paper. I love her rice paper. 
And so if y'all don't know about Kathy at Digital Deco Design, you need to because she, she does beautiful designs. And um, I've even gotten into her, um, what am I trying to say? So I've subscribed for three months of digital downloads and I bought a pack of her rice paper so I could just download and print out whatever I want, whenever I want it. And I'm loving that. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Becky. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Hey, hey, Linda. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. You can see it's already been used once. I found out, didn't realize it when I was using it, but uh, this rice, this design um, is, was done for Kathy at Royal Funky Junk. So, um, I had made a piece with the big B that's in the middle of this. Do I have a whole one? I don't think I have a whole one right now. Do you have this? I love this paper. This is one of my favorites. And, um, what was I saying? Oh, it was designed for her. It's Royal, I forgot what the name of it is, Royal funky bee or something like that. It's got, you know, Kathy's business name in it. So, we've got a lot to chat about today. Um, we have our big, so and if anybody's new, so whose birthday is it? Birthday, or is she? Ruth, happy birthday. Would you like to have one of my art classes? For your birthday, if so, message me and tell me which one you'd like, and I'll get you in there for your for a little happy birthday. And I'm frozen down here. Am I frozen? Yeah, everybody wish Ruth a happy birthday. Okay, I'm going again. Did I freeze up for anybody but myself down here? So as I was saying. I said, I'm going to start sounding like a broken record, but um, starting this Sunday, we are having our 20K Celebration Week, and I have the lineup now. I'm going to be posting that either tonight or in the morning. I've got to just make up a cool graphic for it, you know, but I'll be at Trisha's on Sunday. I might take y'all on a little ride on the way down to her house. She lives in a beautiful neighborhood by a lake. So that may be a little bonus. Happy. So that's what I cut out. I made sure I had a little bee on it. And um, she is going to design a piece of jewelry for us live in her studio. I'm going to ask a ton of questions, I'm sure, because that's what I do. Where's a, I'll just use one of these old brushes and some Mod Podge. Emma, Tony, I am sorry. Uh, I have been having to, when I watch other crafters here lately, for some reason, I've been having to go out and come back in so many times. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. Hey, Amanda. It, I was about to say it was during your live the other night that I kept having to go out and come back in. I don't know why, but it was on my end, I'm sure. But it did help, but it just kept doing it every so often. I was telling, <laughs> while you're here, I was telling Gerald today at lunch that um, about your Christmas music suddenly playing Tuesday night <laughs> about the third time. <laughs> When you said, uh, well, you were working on something really hard, and you, that music started again, and you said, here, enjoy some Christmas music while I figure this out. I about died. I, that just hit me funny, I'm telling you. Hey, Sheila. Uh, where are you in Tennessee? I'm in Tennessee. And Teresa's from Pensacola, Florida. Hey, Penny. Uh, so anyway, Sunday, Trisha, I'll be at Trisha's house down in Nesbitt, Mississippi. 
live probably at our usual time at four o'clock and um, I had I have on one of her bracelets it's her her page is Trish Thomas love and life and she has love and life jewelry and so I always have a piece of at least one piece of her jewelry on today I've got her earrings and a bracelet so this is the bracelet I have on Trish I'm gonna tell on myself so yesterday I'm working along and I had my bracelet on and I looked down and I thought, oh, how did she find little pearls and this little silver piece that have my favorite color marbled onto it? So I took a picture of it and I texted her <laughs> and I said, how did you find these cute little pieces that match that have <laughs> this teal color marbled onto it? And <laughs> she wrote back, I can imagine that she was rolling, but she said, Lindy, that's paint. <laughs> that wasn't on there when I made it. <laughs> I marbled it myself. How about that? <laughs> that's why... You know, I'm rough on jewelry. I'm rough on everything sitting in here working all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, I was giving her credit for finding some cool marbled pieces that were specific for me. <laughs> I bet you were, Trish. So, I told her that. I said, I'm going to tell off on myself tomorrow. If i got to go live and I'm that silly, I'm going to tell my friends about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Help me out. I'm going to use, I think, I, now I, all I did was use my uh, water brush for the little hole, put a little water down in there, and I'm just going to gently poke through that rice paper. And it works beautifully. I just pull it right out. Got a little hole there. <laughs> well, don't be too amazed because lots of them are. Uh, but I've gotten better with paint as far as my clothes. But, I mean, this, no telling, this probably dangled down into the lid of a, some paint. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay, Barbara. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just chattering away. And then we're going to seal it with Mod Podge because that's what we do. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, right? And uh, Cindy Kane was telling me after I made the first batch, she said, those would make great little gift tuck-ins, which I agree. Um, so, you you know, you, you're giving somebody a little gift and you just pop a little keychain in there. Melissa, it is, uh, what's today, Thursday, it's a week from tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. I will be guesting in her private group. I'm so excited. A little bit nervous, but very, very excited. I can't wait. So that's going to be a busy day because that's the day Ellie's Attic's going to be here Friday. She's going to be crafting with me, teaching me something fabulous or we're going to do, I think we're actually going to do a similar project side by side and see how each one of them turns out. I hope that'll be fun. <laughs> Have I put a sealer on the pearl to protect it? No, I did not. Oh, you mean these or this one? This one, this one, I'm sure it would wash off, but it, I like it. It's marbled. I thought it was fancy. Look at the, it's got a marbled paint on it. And it, <laughs> this little piece has marbled paint on too. But how, I kept it off the cross. How about that? The cross didn't get, didn't get painted. Leave it to me. All right. Now, I want to try one of these that's not painted. I saw that. I know she's having a sale coming up. Thank you, Arlene. Oh, you're so sweet. That's another thing I wanted to talk to y'all about today. Mr. T and I read every single comment 
that y'all left on the introduction post yesterday. I cried again uh, several times yesterday. I was kind of glad it wasn't a live day because y'all touched me yet again so much. Those were the sweetest comments. And uh, we appreciate y'all so very much. Um, okay, what was I about to do? Which one was I about to do? Let's go. Let's go with this. Look at this napkin. This is a napkin that Kathy Bowling sent me. The tags are from Michaels and the dollar spot. I could, yes, I did some of them with rice paper on both sides, which you can do. Um, if you wanted to make this a gift tag, but that they could also use um, as a keychain, you put the keychain part on it, of course, but you could write their name on the other side in a pretty script. Um, you could do coasters, absolutely, Sarah. Um, We may do one. I've got a set of coasters. We'll just try it out and see how they look. How about that? You know what? Hey, we could do that with this. That'd be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Yeah, Kathy from Royal Funky Junk. Kathy Di Domenico. Sweet, sweet lady. And, oh, amazing creator. Let me grab that. I've got a couple of times, and uh, if y'all want to experiment today, we can. Um, I, like I told you Tuesday, I was kind of going easy on myself this week because I've been planning next week and I want to do new exciting things every single day and have guest crafters. So these I got at um, Target last year or year before last, I can't remember, in the uh, dollar spot and they, they were four for three dollars. And I just thought, well, someday they'll come in handy. Do you, Jermaine? I love these two. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> My facial expressions. And that Lori Hamby can catch them, can't she? <laughs> we laugh so hard at those things. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's a great hope. Yeah, she's got lots of followers. She's big time. I'm, I'm, and I'm, happy for everything I get, but I am not in her league, that's for sure, so she's been very kind to me, um, but we have, uh, in case ha y'all hadn't heard, we've got Love and Life Jewelry Sunday, Monday, our very own Chris Tate, the tater tot, is cooking for us out on the patio on the Blackstone. That will be fun for sure. Um, Tuesday will be my regular live, but I'll be doing, I found a couple of fun new things that may be kind of the equivalent of uh, me doing the alcohol ink and fire. <laughs> One's definitely gonna be an outdoor one. Something I've never tried before, so why not do it with my friends? And we're just going to see if it works. I have a um, Wednesday. I believe that's going to be the day Mr. T cooks brunch for y'all on the Blackstone. We may get Mom to come over for that. Y'all want Mom to come over. So I've told her, I don't care what she says, y'all want her to come live next week. So she's going to have to just do it. And so Little Mama will be here one day. We have said um, we're, we probably can't have my stepdad come on because you never know what's going to come out of that man's mouth. So, <laughs> Carol, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much for those stars. That was very sweet of you. I'm just kind of seeing where I might get the most bang for my bee buck here. Here, like that. I think I can get at least four on it that way. Okay. Let's see how this coaster turns out. It's kind of, it's that, uh, when I, uh, 
how do I describe what that's made out of? But it's not slickety. You wouldn't want to run your fingernails across. It's kind of like a chalkboard. So porous, I would imagine. And um, probably would be good for this project. Is he Carrie? Well, good. Uh, hey, Regina, you sure are. Yes. And then let's see. Um, so that was Wednesday. Thursday, my regular live, but it'll be a new, I, I, I've saved these new um, kind of art techniques that I want to try that I personally think both of them will be fun for you to do, but you'll also, in case you have some of that good grandchild time this summer where you have them for a whole week or so, uh, and you need some fun projects, I think they'll like them too. But you can, y'all can, I'll love doing them myself, and I don't have grandkids, so um, we'll see. I've got two of those. I'll be sprinkling in bonus lives. I'll be popping on, taking y'all for a ride in Taterbug, and, um, you know, fun stuff. We may go shopping, and... So that's Thursday, Friday at 3, Ellie's Attic, yeah, 3 o'clock Central, Ellie's Attic's going to be here to craft with me, and Saturday, and I don't think I've got her nailed down for the time, will be Tanya from Hummingbird Painery. She's teaching me something on Saturday, which is going to be so fun, so we'll be doing that together. And then Sunday, my sweet sister in love, Moida, will be here, bringing some kind of vintage wonderfulness. And that will probably be back at my usual time, 4 o'clock Central. So, I had said that I want to make this celebration week kind of about lifting up... Um, new small business owners who are, uh, you know, I think they are well deserving of getting new eyes on. There he is. There he is. And that's kind of what our jam's going to be about this week. Helping those sweet ladies um, grow their businesses because I thoroughly believe in them. Look at that. Okay, I'll be sealing this while he talks to you. What'd you make? A coaster. <laughs> Sarah Lena said, could you do coasters? And I just I flipped gears real quick, and I knew where my coasters were, so we're okay. sealing them up right now. Hope everybody joins us next week. Hey, Lucille. Uh, Lindy's worked really hard to get this l little business built up for us, and we thank every one of you 20,000-plus followers now. Wow, I can't believe it. And we're just going to we're gonna try to celebrate y'all for y'all. <laughs> With y'all and for y'all. Yeah, we want to make it, we'll kind of give back for everything y'all have done for us because we never dreamed we'd ever be here. Yep, it's really good. And we appreciate you. So, but, so you can join me tomorrow night. There we go. At 5.30, we're going to be cooking uh, kind of a thick sliced pork, uh, pork uh, butterfly pork chop on the Blackstone. We'll have some... Uh, baked sweet potatoes with that and I don't know I may even throw in a few uh, grilled vegetables yeah that would be good and we'll cook for uh, I think our I think our um, comments stopped I believe they did okay you you just talk and I'll see if I can get the comments back. she's gonna try to refresh that can't see what y'all are saying I have to be able to see your comments I wanted to say hello to everybody and I'm way too tall to be. He's way tall. <laughs> Bacon wrapped pork chops. Vicky said. Sure, why not? I say yeah. <laughs> pork and pork, what could be better? Right? All good things. Hey Cindy Kane. His shirt or my shirt? If, if it's my shirt, you can get it at Belle Lily with a discount. If it's his shirt, we don't remember where he got it. <laughs> Hello, I, Frankie. I really don't. 
Regina says that we love you saying hello. He always comes in saying hello and has to say hello to his ladies. He loves y'all too. Don't y'all love her shirt? I like this shirt. Thank you. It's, it's a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> that looked funny. Lori, I hope you caught screenshots of that. <laughs> Everything is better with bacon is right. Shoot, yeah. Hey, Sheila. And Pat Hunter, hey. Hey, Pat. It's been a busy one, but it's been a good one. I want to watch Sarge <laughs> with the next batch of bacon. I'm going to watch Sarge closer with the next batch of bacon is what I'm going to do. Well, I don't remember to tell him leave it. Oh, uh, oh you were yeah. asking about my hand. I'm... I'm Mashed it a little bit. He bruises really easily now. Yep. Speaking of the oh, devil. Oh, okay, Betty. Speaking of the devil, there here's is. the devil right here. Bacon eater. Mr. Bacon Man. Bacon stealer. <laughs> oh, right. you missed that shot. <laughs> Wait, make me fly again for Lori. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> there you go, Lori. <laughs> oh, Carrie, you would not either, girl. So look at our, there's our coaster. So there's your answer, Sarah. $3 for four, one napkin, boom. What a sweet gift that would be. Tie them all up with uh, um, jute. jute, thank you. Some jute or some pretty ribbon. Yeah, now, boom, I've done my exercises for the day. Yep. All <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave you to it. Okay. Kiss. Kisses. Mm. See y'all tomorrow night. Yay. I will be spending Friday and Saturday, hopefully, cleaning this house and making pretty graphics for y'all that um, you can sprinkle out if you want to about the celebration. So, okay, coaster, impromptu coaster. Now, what we're going to do is take one of these round ones, and I've got my old hymnal music I pulled out. I sealed them, Trish, so they should be fine. They should be fine. I sealed them with Mod Podge. Don't let anything drop on them while they're wet, because then that's going to stay there. Let me get that. Okay. If you wanted to, you know, you could um, paint some words on it before you seal it. That would be pretty, too. Uh, be sweet. Be kind. Be happy. You know, whatever. And make a set of four. <laughs> Yeah, just seal it really, really good. Absolutely. Okay, so I've got, oh, how I love Jesus, if I didn't say that. And I'm just going to... I think my sister-in-love should be coming back from... Boston right now on her vacation, so I'll know better what, what we're going to do probably tomorrow. But I will have a, a little graphic of the whole schedule and the whole lineup that you can save if you want to or refer back to, but then there'll be daily posts about it. Free samples at Home Depot make nice coats. Free samples. Free tile samples, I left a word out. Oh, that's a great idea, Opa. Yes. Well, might then seal it with, um, an, well, I'm gonna go get, so Lori, Lori knows. Now, I have coasters that we use every day that I sealed with Mod Podge, and I've never had any trouble with them, but, if that's, you know, if you don't want to even risk that, um, would triple thick work? What do you suggest, Lori? Hey, Sandra. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I think everybody's going to be excited to see Moidal. She's been missed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, did I put you to sleep, Barb? I am so sorry. I'm very sorry. 
you can catch the rest on replay, right? So is there anything else y'all want to see for your celebration week? That's a good idea, Lou. Yes, I've heard about that. A dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So if you're specifically going to be making coasters, get some of that. That would, that would be the thing to do. My coasters were, they're square, um, they're square and I used pieces of map on them because I love those. And, um, excuse me, allergies, I did take my medicine before I got on. Um, line that up with the hole. Yeah, well, she just had to be, Diane. I need to get her back on here. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Did somebody ask about that, or are you just being sweet and sharing that? Hey, Donna. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention Tuesday that we have a new uh, paint party for this month, for June. It's an owl. They run constantly, though. It's not just for June, but it's our newest one. I try to bring out a new one every month, but that's another thing I was going to mention. Since Mr. T is doing brunch on Wednesday, that's probably going to be the day we have a paint party. And, Opa, are you still here? Um, I think we're going to paint that ostrich that, Pen wasn't it Penny Williams? Penny Williams, didn't you share that photo of an ostrich and I said it needs to be painted? Her name was Myrtle, I believe. And Opa said, make her moidle. So that's what we're going to do. What is paint the flowers? Maybe we could do that next week. Um, what is paint? Oh, oh, the flowers that Elizabeth sent me for 20K uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can do that live in, in you know, like an hour or so, but... I think we're going to do that fun ostrich and just tater bug it, tater fied it. Words. I can't say words. <laughs> hey, Janet. That was it, Opa? Okay. Oh, Lori shared it. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, okay, now we have our, our little hymnal page on here. I'm just going to take the pencil and poke a hole just like that. Push that on through. And then that's all set. Okay, now let's move this out of the way. Hey, Luann, how are you doing? Your self portrait, Opa. <laughs> hey, Laura. All right, here's what we're going to do we're going to do a mini version of one of my woodblock print paintings. So I'm going to turn you upside down. This is what I do um, in our classes. We'll go that way and then that way. And you right over here where you can see this. There we go. Okay. Now let's just do some paint real quick. Get my white paint out. And a little brush. Pete, goodness gracious, buddy. Where's my little flat brush? There. Is that it? No. Well, this may have to do. I'll use this one. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Three baby ostriches that are three weeks old. Oh, that's so cute. So we're going to start with just a rectangle. This may take two coats to show up good, but I'm going to outline it. I think it'll be good.
Look at my butterfly pad. <laughs> That's my Petey panting. And we're going to do a tall triangle. Okay. Hey, Naya. How are you? Hi, Pat. Thank you, Pam. Hey, hey, Vicki. Okay, Cindy. And it's not even storming, but he may, he may feel one coming. That's been happening lately, too. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little bit of my burnt umber and a little brush. Hi, Marsha. I think that's, is that going to be, yeah, it's going to be good. I know all of you can do this. Break it down into just simple shapes. Let's go ahead and do this. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you, Emily, for tossing the taters. Look how simple that was. I'll see that little church. I agree, Barbara. When I started, um, you know, I'm self-taught, and so when I started painting, I, I would have to break it down that way for myself. Um, just break it into simple shapes, and it's not as intimidating. I'm not done with it yet. Let me grab a little grass green. little grass under it. Hey, Linda. Thank you, Janet. Um, I think I'll just try this one. This paint's kind of dried out. Right? Yeah, there we go. All right. Just a little grass. That's okay, Patricia. I'm just glad you're here. Darlene, thank you so much. Isn't that crazy, Debbie? I mean, Deb, how they do that, you know, they know ahead of time. They feel it coming. Now we're going to throw in a little, you know what? I'm going to grab my favorite tiny lettering brush. Oh, really? You So you taught freehand mail art. Oh, I'd love to know more about that. I would love to know more about that. You're going to have to message me and tell me it works. Uh, yeah, it does. It's, it absolutely does work. And it's, like I said, it's not as intimidating. Fix that. Where are my 
There they are. Oh, nail art. Finger. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. That's tiny. Wow. I've never had that done before, nor have I tried it. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks, Sharon. And Barbara. Thank you, Luann. Isn't it a beautiful hymn, Vicki? I love that one. Oh, I put the wrong top on the wrong bottle. I do that all the time. All right. Now, we're going to take a little red, a little teal, and a little, um, what other color did I have? I might use gold. Yeah, I think I'll use gold. Let's try that. Now, all you gotta do Yes, Darlene, I'll put the I've got the little chains. I took the chains off. I, I mean, the little jump rings. No, they're not jump rings. What are those called? I can't think of the name of them right now, but I took them off to, you know, decoupage on there and paint on there and then we'll put it back on. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, we've got our three little colors. Get this little bitty brush out. Don't want it to be wet. And let's get a little bit of teal. Wipe that off. A little bit of red. Petey, goodness, buddy. Oh, it would be such a cute Christmas ornament. Just take the little ring off and put a hanger on it. Absolutely. And then a little gold right in there. And you have your stained glass window. How about that? Um, Waynell, I offered them once uh, in the shop. They are now at, in my booth at Southern Vintage. But I'll be glad to go and get what's left. If y'all are interested, um, I think I have, I don't know if I have many more of these. And, you know, if I could get some more, if I can go to Michael's and find some more of these, I'll make some more if y'all like them. But I know you can do it. I know sometimes you'd rather just <laughs> have somebody else do it for you. I feel that same way uh, about certain things. I don't want to go buy all the supplies if I'm not going to make a gazillion of them. So I understand that too. Okay, so tell me again who said do an ugly doll on one. I wonder if we can do that. Let me take a, let me take the uh, little ring off of this one. Unless I, did I have one I already took the ring off of? Yeah, here it is. I thought I did. Um, let's see. I could do a background color on it. What would be fun? What would be fun background color? We can make the ugly doll pop. We could just do like a gray. You know what? Oh, this is a good time. Since we're just experimenting, let's try this. And uh, I found these at Dollar Tree a while back. It's tempera spray paint. I want to just try it. Can't hurt, right? And I, I've told myself I was going to try these for y'all and see if they're any good. Oh, Darlene, there you go. Let me know if you find them. 
I should have looked. I was in Michael's about a week ago. I should have looked then, and I didn't. Let's just do a fun background. I'm going to move this out of the way before I get crazy on it. Uh, the they come they come just like this four to a package so they're ready for you to go. You don't even have to worry about punching holes in them. You can't beat that. Y'all are saying more than one ugly doll. Hold on, let me kill two birds with one stone. Now let's see. I'll tell you what. If y'all like these little ugly doll keychains. Since I'm not making the ugly dolls anymore, I will make them happy mail next week during celebration week. What do you think? Hey, Cindy. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. I don't know how long it'll take it to dry. We'll put the heat gun on it. Let me shake that up just a little bit. Okay. You know, those are fun, just like that. And if those are going to take too long to dry, then I'm going to do the same thing with alcohol ink, and we will. I'm planning on quite a lot of Happy Mail every day. I hope. I've already started a list of what I want to have for y'all for Happy Mail. So, get ready. And I love that y'all come up with these ideas that can end up being Happy Mail, too. That's why you need to, you know, invite your friends if it's something, you know, if you think they'd be interested in hanging out next week. It's going to be, y'all are going to be by, oh my goodness, by, let's see, June 10th. By the June 12th, at the end of the day, y'all are going to be so sick of tater bugs. <laughs> Lori, this was gifted. Um, this was a gift. I'm trying to remember who sent this. And it's, is that right? Somebody gifted me with a heat gun. And, well, I'm trying to remember now. If Mr. Tater Buggin ordered this and I gave him the other one because he needed it in the shipping department to remove labels. Hey, Angela from Word and Home. I loved your flip-flop um, craft. That was so cute. All right, that's drying pretty good, but except for the like, I should have held it back more, but let's do this. Let's set these aside. Let's get two more ready, and I'm going to get the alcohol in gout. And we are going to, where's my, here they are. Happy Mail's fun, isn't it? I'll give him a lot of stuff to ship to y'all. Ooh, and I have a surprise. Should I tell you today? Just if you're here, you'll get, you'll know. Let me grab my alcohol. I love these colors. Let's see. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're the Ranger, you know, Tim Holtz. Uh, dilution. No, no, these are, well, hmm, are dilutions? Delusions, dilutions. I don't know. I don't know who, I think, I thought these were Ranger. Is it? Oh, it is Ranger. That's right. Y'all stay over there and let me pull these off. Yes, tell us you love surprises. <laughs> now I forgot what I was going to do with you. <laughs> Wait, it'll come back to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I know what it was. We talked to our printer again yesterday. He is hard at work on the uh, tools of mass creation. He is all jazzed up about it and has all these ideas. Well, let me tell you what's coming. He has found us koozies. And I don't know about y'all, I love a koozie. And um, we are going to have Tools of Mass Creation koozies, and there will be Koozie Happy Mail next week. They will be available in our shop, but we'll also have Koozie Happy Mail. So, 
Y'all don't tell anybody. It's a surprise. <laughs> These are just a little bit of work to get off of there, but not too bad. All right, let me... Isn't that fun? I thought koozies were a great idea. That was our printer's idea. He's oh, He's got some great ideas. And I'm telling you, he is oh, making that artwork look good. I've also got... Oh, I'm telling all my secrets for next week. I shouldn't do that. Well. Oh, I love it. Look how it kind of bleeds into the wood. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, y'all like koozies, too. I'm so glad. <laughs> Sue, that's how you do it. That's how you keep a secret. I am making my new uh, Lazy Susan really pretty, too. Oh, I love alcohol ink. Isn't that fun? Um, well, I'll tell y'all. Just 200 of my closest friends right here. And anybody watching on replay, too. <laughs> um, I'm going to make... And now, this won't be a, on a live because you've seen me do it. Um, I don't know why we call them koozies here. I think koozies <laughs> makes more sense, honestly, Lori. But uh, everybody here calls them koozies. I can't keep a secret, when, especially when I'm excited about it. Um, I'm going to make a smaller version of Tools of Mass Creation with some of my smaller brushes. Now, they probably won't be the brushes from my friend's mother because those are treasured and were given to me, but they'll be my paint brushes. And uh, that is going to be one of the Happy Mails. Uh, Betty, they're the little... Um, you know, you put them around your can to keep it cold. Every day at lunch, I have a fizzy water. I don't drink Coke or any kind of, you know, that kind of soda anymore. I haven't for years. I drink water or coffee. And, um, ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that cool? Um, so at lunch, I have like a bubbly or a LaCroix or something like that. Hey, Elizabeth. There's Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic here. Gosh, I haven't done an ugly doll painting in a long time. Let's see if I can still do it. Um, so that's going to, somebody is going to win. No, I can't, I don't think I should say win. Somebody's going to be gifted with that piece. Oh, Melissa, yeah. I saw a smaller version of that big um, palette piece that I used for the original. I got it at Goodwill, so that's that. But uh, yes, Leanne, that's so right. You can use that paper towel that you squirted on for your art journal. Absolutely. The uh, Even better, if you want to use as a barrier some tissue paper, some white tissue paper, and... Um, do it like that to cover whatever, and then use that tissue paper with the ink splatter in your art journal. Let's see, let me get my white paint. Could paint the doll on the other side, um, or, or we could do white, or a color that's really gonna stand out, like a bright teal. I don't know, a beer huggy. I don't use mine for beer, but you know, you could. That's what I want to do, Cheryl. I don't want it to just be the usual. I want to, I want, it's a special week to give back to y'all. Is this, is this color going to go with that? If I make the ugly doll that color, what do y'all think? Yellow? Yellow would be pretty with this. Okay, well, I only think about yellow, I'd have to paint white first. I'm going to paint one of my ugly dolls that I used to make. That was my first business. 
Um, hot pink. Do I have a hot pink? Uh, if you do a tools print with your brushes, it could be amazing for your auction. <laughs> Break some records. Um, tool, you mean, Lori, you mean the new, the new smaller version? That's what I was thinking. I think it goes good. Well, I'm going to try it. There you go, Vicki. Think outside the box. Um, yes, yes. We, we have a different printer for our t-shirts. Um, and they, yes, they absolutely can do child size. Ooh, lime green. Yeah, that one, I may do that on that other one. That's a good idea. It would go great with it. Or I could go get the lime green right now. And, I don't know. Let's see what happens. You can always paint over it, right? Hi, Tina. I'm making keychains today all kinds of ways. I thought I was just going to be using rice paper and napkins, but these ladies have me making coasters and painting ugly dolls. <laughs> I'll move some of these that we've already done into view, maybe, so y'all can kind of see while I paint. <laughs> Make a lot. I will say this. Um, he is doing some large canvas prints. Now, they won't be stretched, but that'll be great for shipping, actually, if you wanted to do wanted us to have some large prints on canvas that you could mount yourself or stretch yourself we could do those at auction for sure see i'm trying to remember my little ugly dolls how i did them Oh, Opa, we're going to see the, the problem with our, our current t-shirt printer is we usually have to buy in bulk. And so our first run on the tools t-shirts is going to be just to see kind of what size is and what sells the best. And um, it's like we're going to have to wait until we have a big enough order to get it into him. But he's worked with us so long now he may, may be willing to. And I understand why he does that. You know, I get it. You don't want to go get it all set up for two t-shirts or one t-shirt. But um, I'll see what, what thing come up with. Uh, Mr. T works with them, you know, to get all of it done. It's looking like an ugly doll, don't y'all think? The blank keychain's come in a pack of four in the uh, little dollar bins at Michael's. And that's what these were. They, it was 99 cents for four of them. And apparently they come in quite a few different shapes. I only found this shape and round at mine. But Cindy found hearts and... Um, Leanne found butterflies, so yours may have all different kinds. There's our little ugly doll. And so we want to do this one in lime. Is Suki here? Hey, Suki. My sweet friend, how are you doing? <laughs> a, cute, a cutie doll? Let me see. Let's see if I got, I've got a bright, yes. Okay, I see a bright. We'll do this sour apple from Americana. Let's see. While that dries, because, you know, it's going to have to have hair and my the face that I used to put on them and all that. Oh, you 
said, hey, put man, what I'd love to, I'd love to hear you say that. Sookie, I gotta get, I gotta catch you live just so I can hear you say, hey, put. I love that so much. I'm so glad you're doing good. You look great. I've seen you here lately and you look great. See how well this lime green's going to show up here. Ooh, kind of transparent. Oh gosh, I've already gone over five over an hour y'all oh my word i just have so much fun sitting here hanging out chatting telling all my secrets about next week Uh, Christine, do you mean for, I don't, do they do, um, customs, like my own artwork? I don't think they do, but please correct me if I'm wrong. It does, Cindy, you're so right. Well, I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to let y'all be free. And uh, I think Ellie's Attic will be... Elizabeth, are you still here? Ellie's Attic's live at 545, right? Well, it sure did fly by for me too, Regina. I'm, I just look up and that hour's gone. That's going to take two coats. So let's go back over here and get this one finished up so y'all can get a little something to eat or something before uh, Elizabeth comes on. I think I'll use this black. Yes. Okay. So 545. Y'all go over and watch Ellie's Attic make something incredible. Let's do the little button eyes. I may do the mouth with a, a micron because sheesh, that's tiny. And we're going to try to make it look like, oh, oh no, that's okay, Christine. I am, no, I'm actually working on um, my own printed art on a t-shirt, but we've got, uh, we regularly order our um, Memphis Skylines from them. Uh, our local gift shops order those. Um, fairly frequently and so they do those bulk orders like that for me but see you yeah. <laughs> oh Melissa um, <clears throat> but Gerald did talk to him yesterday about this new piece and working with him to get smaller orders but getting an order in like once a week or something now this is the little thread that ties on the button if you know my little ugly dolls. And now, where are my microns? Let's see if I can do it. A little mouth with these. <clears throat> Probably eight. Hey, Luann. Now, we would do.
And what we need next is what color hair do I need to have on there? What color do you want? Should we do white hair or um, red? No. What color hair, y'all? Because, you know, got to have that funny feather hair. Oh, thank you, Diane. Thank you. So, decisions, decisions. Something bright. I agree. Do we want, let's go with that, like, let's get a bright, bright. Pink. Now we're talking about a, a, yeah, oh yeah, fuchsia. How about that? Is that okay, fuchsia? Where's my, I think I want to use, I will use this, um, this one, this one over here. Where'd you go? Right here. Let's put it with this. Oh, hey, Tarita. Where have you been, girlfriend? Missed you. What do y'all think? Is it silly? <laughs> Let me hold it up closer. Little ugly doll. I could write on the back, ugly dolls, so ugly they're cute. That's what our little slogan was. My parents are doing good, Marsha. Thank you. Mom will be here next week, definitely, for a live or two. So, so okay, we've got a pretty rice paper one. We have got our um, little coaster we made. And we've got our hymnal page and our ugly doll. So there's whole bunches of different ways to do these great little keychains, and you're not out a lot of money at a quarter a piece, right? Let's see. I'm gonna go here, here, and here. There we go. And straighten up, Lindy. Go this way. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how this looks in here. That's funny. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. So, let me see if I can do this. How, how, how? Because we got to get a thumbnail, right? <laughs> I always feel so silly doing those thumbnails. <laughs> but you got to have one. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like them. Thank you, thank you. That was just, like I said, I was going easy on myself. I will, these are just about dry. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at those bright colors. I'll have to do ugly dolls on those too. And we'll have those next week as a happy mail. How about that? Thank y'all for hanging out with me today, doing something you know, that wasn't earth shattering or maybe so exciting, but I had fun hanging out with y'all. Like I said, in case y'all weren't here earlier, for my next Tuesday and Thursday, I'll keep those slots, but we'll have extra stuff those days. But I'm doing something one day outside, weather permitting. And um, I might do the other one outside too. I don't know, but there are things I've never tried before. That leaves room for disaster, which can be really funny and fun. I'm going to hope it works out and is a success, but it's something I've never done before. I'm going to enlist Mr. T's help a little bit on it, and y'all get to see it all happen, pass or fail. I don't know. Both of them. Never tried them. I'm not going to practice them. I want y'all to see me try them first. Thank you, Diane, so much. Again, thank y'all for your very very sweet comments on the post from yesterday. You made me cry again. All happy, good tears. And I think I saw Mr. T well up once or twice. So, good on y'all. 
He'll be here tomorrow evening at uh, 5.30 Central. He said he's going to do butterfly pork chops and maybe some um, vegetables on the Blackstone. So that's then, and you've got 30 minutes till Ellie's Attic comes on. So get you a bite to eat or whatever and something to drink and meet me over at Ellie's Attic to see what wonderfulness she creates today. All right, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, love you.